it was only developed at Oak Ridge, so no other national laboratories really participated in this uh, development, which is not true about any other, about most other types of reactors where uh, the effort was sort of spread and many people participated. This was really only in the Oak Ridge before the age of internet. I think it was sometime in 2006 when I discovered the Kirk Society and the Jeffrey Thorium and learned about the molten salt reactors. Kirk Sorensen. He is what brought molten salts to the fore. It's pretty much all been on, on his shoulders, and he should be lauded for that. It's outstanding what he's done. Kirk gave me some CDs, and then he put them on the internet. Uh, and of course, to me, that was a game changer. That was an inflection point. Before, I sounded like a nut. And I couldn't point, unless you were physically with me, and I could bring down, I have a copy of fluid fuel reactors showing the molten salt reactor in it. And the aircraft reactor experiment. Matter of fact, it has a picture, and in the background is a step ladder. It shows you the scale. It was half the size of your refrigerator, and it put out two million watts of heat. In and it operated in 1954. I wasn't even on the planet then. 